Ben, where does that rank amongst satisfying afternoons in your time at Cheltenham? Um, I mean, obviously the result's satisfying. I don't think the result, uh, the performance itself was, uh, it was satisfying. I'd say that was about it, really. I mean, we, we kind of, as you know, got the result and um, dug in and uh, we didn't, we still went at our best in my opinion, but you know, winning when you're not at your best is, is a good thing to do. And winning by three clear goals when you're yeah. not at your best isn't bad either. Yeah, I mean, it probably should have been more. I think the penalty's a bit harsh, but you know, it is what it is, so you kind of have to just get on with it. And um, yeah, no, I mean, at least we look like scoring a few today, which has uh, maybe been lacking in the last few games, but you know, it's an all round good performance. The manager said he thought perhaps the handbrake one went on a little bit at 3 0. Would you agree? <laughs> maybe, maybe the clutch was broke, I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I, I completely agree. I, I feel like, you know, we come in at half time with 2 0 up. And we all said, you know, we can be better here. We can, you can. Uh, we, we need to be better because they're going to come out and, and be fighting for their lives second half. And you know, I think we dealt with that really well. Um, first 20 minutes of the second half, we felt. I think that was probably the most comfortable we felt all game actually. To be honest with you, apart from obviously the last five minutes, say. But um, yeah, I mean, what can you say really? It's uh, it's kind of put us in a more comfortable position, which is obviously. Obvious from the table, but um, you know, it's, it's on to the next one at the end of the day. Earlier in the season, um, home form was a bit of a concern, but now the home form has been terrific. What do you put that down to? I don't know really. I really, I couldn't put my finger on it. Um, maybe we play with a bit more confidence subconsciously. Um, I, don't, I honestly couldn't put my finger on it. I mean, maybe it's a, most teams should have a good home record, and you know it's good that we have that because we've not been very good away from home. So uh, maybe it's being familiar with your surroundings and, and uh, being in a bit of a routine when you're at home, and and, and that kind of probably helps. Uh, apart from that, I don't really know. If you look at the table now, there really is a substantial gap between you and the bottom two. Do you think now, realistically, that's the end of any worries about relegation? Uh, no, I think it would be very naive to think that. I think that everyone, everyone below us has got a game in hand on us. Uh, I don't. How many points are we on? You, 45. 45. We're on 45. I mean, probably the last couple of years, say, you know, if we, if we went drastic and lost every game, that gets you relegated. So you got to be, you got to be realistic, and, and these things do happen. So we need to. You know, knuckle down, go again the next game. You know, dust ourselves down from today, and uh, that's all we can do really. Over the last half a season or so, it's been roughly a point and a half a game, which is not far from playoff form. Mm -hmm. Is it as straightforward to say that it all changed when the formation changed, or are there other factors as well? Uh, I think that helps, of course. You know, we're. But when, when he threw the formation together, it's kind of it's unfamiliar to to everyone. You, you always grew up playing four four two. Everyone knows four four two, and and you know your roles. But you know we've we've kind of we've drilled ourselves on it, and um, it seems to be working well. I mean, at the end of the day, when the gaffer first came in, things aren't going to change overnight. Sometimes you get your first result, which is off the back of fans being up for it, you being up for it, and and, that, and then kind of you have a little bit of a dip after. Unfortunately, we, we started off slow when the gaffer came in, but um, you know maybe maybe it took a while for his his kind of um, things to basically be implemented on us, and, uh, and that's that's how it's, it's obviously gone. And obviously with the formation of changing role for you, how, how are you enjoying it? Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, uh, obviously, I feel like we could have played a bit more football today, but we didn't, and we won the game. So, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, yeah, no, I think the, I think the position suits me, me with my, with my kind of attributes. Um, so yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just enjoying it and taking it a game at a time, really. Have you played in the centre of a back three before? Never, never played a back five to be honest with you. Um, always played in a back four when I was younger. Uh, but I think you know, being in the centre of a back three, it kind of suits me with you know being able to get across cover and uh, you know basically being that last man to, to beat generally you, you played in a number of positions in in time football what's your favorite position oh i mean up front against carlos second half now. <laughs> come on <laughs> everyone wants to play up front don't they <laughs> no to be honest with you um i've actually played in every single position apart from in goal uh, in my professional career which is you know it's ridiculous actually but um 
maybe that'll come one day. Uh, but no, I th this this formation and, and the way we're playing, I'm, I'm really enjoying where where I'm playing now. What have you learnt from the manager? Uh, a lot of things defensively. I don't want to bore you and go into details, but yeah, I have you know, I feel like it's, it's kind of showing with the way that we are defending and, and the way we're kind of we're getting ourselves up and, and even our body positions and, and and whatnot. But yeah, definitely quite a lot from in that position, definitely. And the team spirit, just from the outside looking in, seems very very good. Oh, it's brilliant. It's honestly um, probably one of the best I've ever been involved in, without a doubt. Um, even when we were crap, <laughs> we we were uh, our team spirit was brilliant. Coming in every day, everyone smiling. It's um, it's no, honestly, it's it's it's, it's brilliant, you know. And uh, maybe we could do a few more bits together and out, out of football, but as it been so, you know, it's it's you know just getting on with it. You going to the races on Tuesday? Any tips? <laughs> yeah, don't gamble. Uh, it's a, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. It's it's one of them. Them opportunities where you live here and, and you've got to, you've got to make the most of it because it is an experience I have been before, fortunately. But you know, sometimes football gets in the way with being able to do the things that you want to do, and, and fortunately this year it's uh, it's it's been kind. So um, yeah, no, looking forward to it.